<laughs> One of these days, right? Right? <laughs> one of these days, right? Is that how it's supposed to be? Right? It's supposed to be one of these days. You're supposed to be. You give your life to Jesus and then everything is all better. The addiction is gone. Everything that you're supposed to do is gone. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to do anything. It's just gone. And now you can live a happy, live a life. And you can just skip to my loo and everything is all better. No, it's not. It isn't that way. It isn't. And it's not going to be. And you need to know something right now. When you give your life to Jesus, the enemy's coming. And he's coming and he's coming hard. And if you're not built on the foundation of Jesus Christ, you are going to fall to everything. You're going to be susceptible to everything. Even I, as a Christian, I am lasting. <laughs> I am. I, <laughs> You know, God is the God of all things, right? He, everything that we have, everything that we know, everything that we see, everything and everything that we it, it exists, it exists because of God. He created everything. And so why, why doesn't He take us away? Why doesn't he take the pain away? Why doesn't he just take away the addiction and desire? And then I went, we, me and you, we don't have it anymore. But no, we got we to gotta go through life. We got to go through life to learn lessons. Lessons that have powerful, powerful meaning to them that will define us and who we are. <laughs> and it's supposed to. God's word said it's never returned void. His word never returns void, but it goes in and accomplishes what it is sent to do. <laughs> and then. And trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path I order the steps of the righteous confessing with your mouth and being in your heart is salvation knowing that he died on the cross <laughs> then why am I Look, I don't want to be a drug addict. I don't want to. I know. I know. I know. I don't want to be a drug addict. I don't. I don't want to be homeless. I don't want to be violent. I know. I know. I'm losing everything. It's, it's better, right? For me. Why don't I just go get high? That'll salve it, right? No, it doesn't. It makes it worse. It makes it worse and it makes it worse. And it makes it worse. Uh, uh, <laughs> so don't you dare think for one moment that when you give your life to Jesus the devil's not coming after you because he is he is and don't you think that that desire of that flesh will not get stronger because it will it will it will <laughs> don't think for one moment that everybody that tells you I love you will be there in the end because they won't they won't but what I do know is this God will 
He will. He will. I've not been perfect in my walk with God. I've lied, I've cheated, I stole, I've robbed, done drugs. I have a background that nobody wants to touch me. They don't want to even give me a chance. I don't get a chance. I can't even get a chance and I have the money. But I got my record. <laughs> because of who I am in that past, the, this world says, no, you're not, you're not a citizen. You're not, <laughs> you, we don't trust you. That's hard. It's hard. There you go. <laughs> and then the, the world eats you up. My bag got stolen. My Bible was in my bag. I got a gift from my uh, this person I love tremendously. Now it's not in my life because of this addiction is gone. But now with my Bible that I had, the only thing that I had that was very dear to me from her is gone because of me. Because of the choices I made. And if I, I can't ever get that back. And I can't get anything back unless I surrender. And what is surrender, right? What is it? Um, <laughs> surrender. Surrender is taking everything and laying it at God's feet. I didn't say never picking it up again. Because that strength only comes by God. Paul said, my power, Paul said this. That he cried and he cried out to God three times asking him to take this thing that was in his life away and God did not take it away. He didn't, he didn't take it away. And Paul was in a place where he was just at the mercy of God. And God's response was to him. My power is my power is made perfect in your weakness so paul said the more that i boast that i'm weak then he is strong so that's what i'm going to do as well and i want you to do the same thing the the way that we live this life today is to know that we are nothing without christ the addiction the violence the lie, whatever it is that you're in your life and you're dealing with right now, that in itself has to be taken away. And it can be only taken away by God. So, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, yeah, she said, look at him. Sorry, sorry. I'm learning how to do this thing today. But, you know, it's, it's a fun place to be, right? Tears, suffering, alone. But the word of God says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. It's supposed to be snowing tonight. I have nowhere to go. The woman that I love. <laughs> is now gone. And I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to do nothing but get violent or angry. Because I am ashamed of where I'm at. I'm ashamed. I'm a man I'm supposed to provide. And look where I am at. And this is what it's come to for my life. I'm in this. This is what, and this is what it is. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this day, O oh God. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your joy. 
thank you for your peace. I thank you for your love. Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. Those who are listening, they're going through something in their life, and they're, they're in trials, they're in struggles, they're in bondage, they're in homeless, they are have a family but still feel alone, they're child, you know, they're children, whatever they are, whoever they are. <laughs> Hold them today. Love them, oh God. Because you are the God. Is the God of love. Kindness. You are affectionate. You're passionate. You are. So in the name of Jesus, I ask, oh God, that you do something in their lives right now. Wipe those tears. Bring joy. Bring joy to them, oh God. And I want to say right now, those who have not given their life to Jesus and want to rededicate their life to the Lord, repeat after me, Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving me the air that I breathe. I'm tired of my life. I'm tired of the struggles. I'm tired of the things that I'm in, the addiction, everything that I'm in my life today. I want a new life. And you said that you would give me a new life. So I ask you to come into my heart. To be my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. I believe that you rose him from the dead on the third day. That I can be risen up with him in righteousness. That I will no longer be a slave to sin, but a slave to righteousness. Thank you, Father, for giving me another chance. Thank you for why in my slate clean. Thank you for putting my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you. Teach me what I need to know to become more like you. I love you and today I am saved. Today I will live my life for you until the day you take me home. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah! Bless the Lord, on oh my soul. Those who gave their life to Jesus and those who repented and just rededicated, I am proud of you. The Word of God says the whole heavens up in heaven and they're rejoicing. So they're rejoicing for you. They're rejoicing for you. Thank you for allowing me to be raw before you. Thank you for allowing me to come and talk to you. Even in the position that I'm in. Because I believe God will restore and he will set me free where there will be no more bondage. I'm living in that. I'm living in that. There is no bondage. There is not. This flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. The power is made perfect in our weakness that we would boast the more. God is our strength. If God be for you, nothing can be against you. So with that, I love you. And I ask that you have a blessed day. Be safe out there. Until then, God bless.